Okay, it's time for mansions now. It's every homeowner's nightmare. You've moved in, redecorated, sit down with you in your living room with a glass of red wine and with just one sip, it's all over your brand new white carpet. Carpet makers say they have a stain-free solution. Our WSJ Mansion team put it to the test and Alyssa Apkowitz joins us now with the details. Um, Alyssa, thank you very much for, 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 for being here. I don't know about having a white carpet, so that, <laughs> I mean, I think it would be a, a nightmare if I found I'd put white carpet in my, yes, my home. It, it is some homeowner's <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> Standard copper materials, mm -hmm. so usually, nylon and polyester, right? Nylon and polyester. So about 58% of the carpet market is nylon, and nylon is extremely durable, but it's horrible with stains. Mm. You have that white carpet and the red wine, you're doomed. Okay. And polyester, it's much better with stain, but it's horrible with wear and tear. You tromp all over it, you're going to have to replace it in, you know, five years. So there's a new market um, material on the market. It's a subclass that's called Triexta, and is a plant-based polymer, and from what we're hearing, it's sort of the best of both worlds. It has a built-in... It's a plant-based plastic, is it? Yes, plant-based plastic. Okay, right. That, that's a tongue twister there. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, well, that's what, that's what we do here, isn't it? Yes. It's called tri Triexta. Triexta. It is um, right now exclusively marketed by Mohawk Industries under the Smart Strand brand. And mm. what's great is it has a built-in stain protection, and it's also very durable. So it sort of combines the best of both nylon and polyester. So it's been put to the test, right, mm -hmm. um, by the WSJ Mansion team, yes. and they're a tough group. Um, how did it hold up? <laughs> Um, it did fairly well. We had mixed results. Dirt was amazing. We threw potted plants on it. Everything wiped up with a vacuum. No trace whatsoever. Oh, that's good. Mustard was one of the other ones that we tried. And most, mustard is notoriously horrible for staining. And it came off pretty well from um, sort of a crosshair look. You could see a little bit of the stains, but it was pretty good. The culprit red was wine. red wine. So did you did you try the real red wine trick at college that we had when we were all in those rentals was you you, you then take a bottle of red wine, sorry, a, a white, white wine, white wine, <laughs> open it up, sprinkle that on it, and then throw some salt right. on it, and then um, finish off both bottles of wine. So we did not try that. We did finish off the bottle of wine once we were done, but we did I'm not sure, try I'm that. I'm sure you did. <laughs> so are these selling? Are they mm -hmm. are they doing well? Is this new new they, strand? They are. So um, it's only been on the market for about five years, but within those five years, sales are rapidly already approaching one billion. And um, compared to the whole carpet industry, mm. which right now is about eight million, that's that's a sizable portion for one specific uh, type of fiber. So we'll see what happens. It, it is interesting. This is a, a a huge dilemma for a lot of people yes. I know who, who like carpets. I would suggest don't have white carpets, and yes. if you do, don't drink red wine. Yes, I, I think that's a good solution. Keep whites with whites. Whites with whites. There you go, <laughs> Alyssa Apkowitz.